All right, a lot of people ask me uh, how I like this fish pond cross current chest pack. It has been on my body fishing for over a year now, and so I wanna come back and give you a review. So first of all, uh, I really like the chest pack aspect of it. I don't like hip packs, I don't like sling packs, I don't wanna move stuff around in order to get to what I need to get. So I really like the fact that the chest pack, where it sits, never gets wet, I mean, unless I fall in, which yeah. <laughs> So it gets wet often. You it, do, it does. It has the potential not to get wet uh, since it sits so high and the fact that it sits so high, everything is right here. I don't have to go searching for it. Some people like chest packs, some people like sling packs, some people like hip packs. I happen to like the chest pack. So very good point in the category for the cross current. Second of all, if you watch the video on when I bought this pack, uh, the pack that it's replaced was the William Joseph. And I can't remember what it was called. You remember what it was called? No. Okay, no. doesn't do it. The William Joseph, they don't make it anymore. Uh, but the thing that was magnificent about that pack was the magnetic openings. Now, this one has one magnetic opening, not two, but I still love it. So the fact that it opens magnetically back and forth makes it so easy to get in, get what I need and that's definitely a plus. Now, despite the fact that I said that I like uh, the double magnetic openings of the William Joseph, this one does have a zipper, and I gotta admit, even though I like the double magnetic opening, I've never had any trouble with the zipper, so I don't know, maybe that's just you know, nostalgia, thinking back, wishing I had that, but I've never had any trouble with the zipper. Um, I've never I've never been like, man, I wish I could get this thing open like a half a second sooner. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, it's fine. It has this backpack on it, which I really like uh, because I keep all my reels in here. If we're on a day long fishing trip, uh, I keep my lunch in here. Um, there's really no place to keep any water or anything like that, but you know, eh, what are you gonna do? It could only hold your belt so you even keep your belt. <laughs> <laughs> I do need, I, do, I, I should keep about four or five spare waiting belts in here uh, because I always lose them. It's got enough room for three reels back there, which is what I keep in there. There's extra gear, etc., extra floating, extra tippet. I just keep it all here. This is not like the minimalist uh, setup because, you know, I, <laughs> I tend to overpack and... <laughs> no, no. I, yes, I do, I do. I tend to overpack and that's okay because I always want to make sure that if I ever needed anything, I would have it and I've been able to keep everything I need in this pack. Despite my early travails and uh, not being able to get my net attached to this thing, um, I've learned the ropes and it was not the pack, it was me. But I keep my net attached to this little D-ring back here. Magnet, all day. <laughs> I never use it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> <laughs> but if I did, it was there and I would be all right. A couple of things on the front that I appreciate. Uh, I appreciate the fly patch. That's not, you know, innovative. Lots of uh, packs have that, but I do appreciate it. Clearly, I use it a lot. Maybe that I should be more organized and stick them back in my fly box, but I don't. I stick them here and that serves me well. These two mesh pockets I've really come to depend on. I keep my floating over here in case we're dry fly fishing. I keep all my indicators over here in case I want to stoop as low as John and actually fish with an indicator. <laughs> and then you yeah. just got your standard connections to hang your tippet, hang your tools. Um, nothing really big there. Oh, and bonus, snacks. <laughs> got a little pocket in the back, keep extra stuff. Like literally, there's there's lots of places to keep things here. And for somebody who likes to have a lot of stuff with them, maybe that's a character flaw, I don't know. But for somebody who likes to have a lot of stuff with them, I appreciate all the places to put things. Now I've worn this pack a lot. Uh, I've worn it all day. Uh, it's very comfortable. I've never had any troubles with it in terms of feeling like it's cutting into my shoulders. These pads are very well constructed. Really zero discomfort at all. So, I mean, overall, I'm really pleased with this pack. And at this point, it's $149. Um, you know, we're not getting sponsored to say any of this stuff. I'm just giving you an honest review here. It's $149 and I would say, you know, well worth it. I've put this thing through the paces. You can see all these stains and everything. Um, but so far, nothing's come apart. Everything's working really well. So would I recommend it? Yeah, I'd recommend it. It's a good pack, and if you're looking for a chest pack, I think this is a good one. In fact, I like it so much that my good buddy John decided to copy me. Yeah. Look at you, buddy. <laughs> Look at you, you got your own. Yeah, I do. I went from the uh, Umqua pack and uh, got this for Christmas. I got it mainly. I had a fish pond net, and the fish pond net fits 
really well. Yeah, man. I'm, lo I'm loving this. It's been uh, been real good. So, John, you're finally getting to uh, fulfill all your dreams of being exactly like me. And <laughs> That's it. I long for that. Yeah, I know you yeah. do, John. You got a long way to go, but, you know, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'm, I'm behind you all the way. Thanks, man. All right, thanks for watching. If you have this chest pack, let us know in the comments uh, how you like it. Uh, if you have a different one, you like it better, let us know that as well. We got lots of adventures to go on, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss a thing, and we'll see you in the next one.